guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and a lot of you guys have heard by now that the 4.1.2 version of Android has been released over the air to a lot of Nexus 7 devices. Uh, however, if you're running a custom ROM or any customized firmware version on your Nexus 7, you're not going to be able to flash it manually. In fact, you'll have to revert back to stock JR0 O 3D in order to flash that manually. Uh, and even at that, you'll have to follow a, an extensive guide and uh, you'll have to type in ADB commands and it can be a headache. Uh, there are other ways of doing it. Obviously, you can flash back to stock and then accept the over-the-air update. Uh, that's one way of doing it. But if you're on a custom ROM, CyanogenMod 10, AOKP, any of those ROMs, uh, there is an easier way, and that's what I'm going to show you. A guy over at XDA packaged a ROM together that is stock. It's rooted. It is 4.1.2. Um, and we'll go ahead and install that now. So you can do that over Clockwork Mod Recovery. You can do it over Twerp. Um, personally, I'm going to do it on Team Win Recovery Project. So I'm just going to go to my Goo Manager and reboot recovery so this is a very very easy install it doesn't get any easier than this you want to go to the link in the description and grab the ROM and also go ahead and grab the new bootloader the new bootloader has been updated to allow for uh, booting into recovery mode from bootloader mode which makes it awesome because if you brick your device uh, you can just go into bootloader mode and then get your recovery from there and install an Android backup makes life a whole lot easier uh, first of all we just want to wipe Factory reset, swipe to wipe. And we'll go back, cache, swipe to wipe the cache. Go back, Dalvik cache, swipe to wipe. And then we'll just go to install. I'm telling you guys, very easy. You're looking for stock 4.1.2, JZO 64K, Nexus 7, Andrew 2511. That's the guy uh, who put this together for us, Andrew 2511. So big shout outs to him over at XTA. Go ahead and flash that. Now this may take a few minutes. Okay, I guess it does it via the Aroma Installer, which is pretty cool. Okay, so you can either have it rooted or unrooted. Here, if you want it rooted, just make sure that you do check the box. It is already checked. If I uncheck it, I won't have root whenever I reboot. So you want to make sure that that's checked. Go to Next. And it will begin to install. So this seems to be running pretty fast, so we'll just kind of stick with it. Uh, a few things that are included, obviously the new bootloader, and then the other thing that was included is landscape mode. So not a whole lot has changed between 4.1.1 and 4.1.2. Uh, some other things have been changed as far as uh, performance enhancements and bug fixes. A full change log has not been released yet. Okay, so the Aroma Installer, it tells you everything that it did there. Uh, you'll notice that it did root it and it installed the custom, I'm sorry, the stock kernel. And we'll go next and finish. And we'll go back. We're not going to reboot yet because we want to go ahead and get that stock, uh, the new updated bootloader installed. And now we can reboot the system. And if all went well, we should have a new boot animation. This should be the stock Nexus 7 boot animation that we are used to and not the boot animation that came with our custom ROM that we had installed beforehand. Now you guys saw that it looks like it's in a boot loop but it is not it's just because it is the stock version of Android it's having to update so it may take a while to get through this first boot so be patient don't freak out there we are. Okay, so this is our uh, stock Android boot animation. But guys, that has been the easiest way to update to 4.1.2 on the Nexus 7. Uh, for more of my work, be sure to head over to droidmoderx.com for the latest in Android and tech news. I keep the homepage updated pretty regularly. Also, follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. I give away tons of stuff on there um, pretty regularly, so be sure that you're following me there. And also, I give you guys updates on anything that I'm doing. You'll find out what I'm doing right there on Twitter. Uh, so that's always good to follow me there. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more guides like this. Uh, also, ROM reviews, and I'll be covering several other devices in the upcoming fall. And uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It helps me more than you know. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.